Joshy Bear plays Minecraft. What is going on, everyone? It's Joshy Bear, and we are playing the Minecraft. Long time no see, folks. And uh, we'll talk about that here in a little bit. But as you can see, we have our villager trading station hall area prison <laughs> uh, in place. All of our villagers are in place. I've actually zombified and cured them all at least one time. Uh, d decent prices, not the greatest, but uh, also not the worst either. So I, I think we've got a pretty good collection of things uh, to be able to get here. And uh, if you uh, take a look at, uh, at the area, we uh, utilized our new uh, stone cutters here uh, to get some quartz and get some quartz stairs in here. Added a little bit of contrast to the grays and the, and the blacks that we had. A little bit of carpet down. Uh, there's some glowstone under there to give some light and uh, around here. So I think everything is, everything's looking pretty nice, if I might say so myself. Uh, but there was one thing that uh, as I started working through this and I was trying to get everybody locked in and leveled up, uh, still a long way to go. Uh, but I was using my librarians to do that. And I realized that now I have this sugarcane farm all the way over here on the other side. And, uh, you know, we really hadn't done much with it other than grabbing some sugarcane every now and then uh, to, you know, make some books or get some paper to kind of get some of these older librarians uh, up and running. Uh, but uh, when you have a whole mess of them, and I have, I think I have, what, 16 of them over there now? Because uh, there's four on each of the side, side walls and eight in the middle. Uh, this sugarcane farm, I don't think is going to cut it. Uh, we uh, got into that sugarcane reserve pretty, pretty quickly. And while this has served us well for now, it's time for us to upgrade. Uh, because we're going to want emeralds. We're going to want tons of emeralds to be able to get all the things that we want. Uh, the books, the weapons, the armor, uh, the quartz blocks that we want that we can get bricks and or uh, clay bricks from these guys to use some different building materials we're going to need to build ourselves a much bigger uh, sugarcane farm and uh, luckily before i took a little hiatus i was working on a design that i would love to be able uh, to build right here in the world and i think i'm actually going to build it over here near near the uh, trading hall now, I, I know that we've talked about this before, and I was like, well, you know, maybe we just have a huge library and have the sugarcane farm attached to that. But uh, I don't know that I want to go that far into it. I don't know that it's necessary, especially for a single player world like this. But um, I'm going to jump over into the creative world, kind of walk you through uh, my design. And uh, we're going to pick a suitable location over on this side of the world to get building. So, I need to address the elephant in the room. There was a very long gap between uh, the videos I just uploaded and the last video that I put on the channel. And it was about three, yeah, a little, little, little over three months, maybe. Um, I'm sorry. I really don't know what else to say here. As human beings in the world of 2020, we all know what it's like. I don't need to go into it, but life is still life, even though we are sequestered to a very, very small slice of the world at the moment. So really the whole point here is just to say I'm sorry for the gap in videos, and uh, I hope to be on a little bit more normal uh, recording schedule here uh, moving forward. Also reminds me, when you're done with this one, why don't you go and uh, check out the uh, the new uh Let's Play series I've, I've, I've started with uh, Civilization VI Gathering Storm. If you're into that kind of 4X uh, turn-based strategy uh, gameplay, go check it out. Tell me what you think. And uh, yeah, do all that like, subscribe, comment stuff and, uh, and stuff. All right, back to Minecraft. All right, so we're here in my creative testing world, and here is an idea of what this sugarcane farm is going to look like. Now, it is it is pretty big. Um, it's not the biggest that's ever been made, uh, but this is a design that 
Um, it's it's based on a design from way back in the day that I absolutely loved um, by Impulse SV. Um, what it does is it actually uses uh, sticky pistons and um, slime blocks to push the harvested co- uh, sugar cane as far as possible. It's going to bounce it off that glass and into this water stream. And what that actually prevents is the sugar cane getting caught on these dirt blocks and and uh, and eliminates loss. So I like the fact that it's almost totally lossless, almost totally. I'm, I'm sure that there's one or two that get caught every now and then. Um, and it also utilizes observers to detect the uh, growth rate of just a couple pieces of sugar cane. Uh, so it's fully automatic. Uh, there's no need to harvest it yourself. Uh, the one downside is that I can't harvest this myself. Uh, so I'm going to come over here real quick. We're just going to fly over and some other, I guess, trials of of the that farm. But we're going to look at just one small section of this farm. And this is really what it looks like if you only did it one one wide. And instead of having the observer on this block here uh, to detect that sugar cane, I'm actually going to use a daylight sensor. Now, this isn't a new concept. I know a lot of farms out there that use this, um, but it still has that automated function. It's going to harvest twice a day. But if I want to harvest this, I l- let's say that I'm waiting for a harvest and I don't want to wait anymore. I can just change the state of the daylight sensor. That observer is going to detect that, and it's going to it's going to run the harvest sequence for me manually. So I have the option to to harvest this if I want, or I can just let it go and see what happens. So that's it. That's what we're building. Only we're building this um, a few different times, <laughs> and uh, we're going to have all the sugar cane for paper and sugar that we're ever going to need. Hopefully, maybe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we will. We are staring at the hole in the ground that our new sugarcane farm is going to go. And as you can see, I've dug, I didn't dig down quite that far, but I still dug out a lot of area. Probably too much, to be quite honest. I, I, the farm should have no problem fitting in this space, but I wanted to make sure I gave myself enough room in case I decided I wanted to put a fourth side on it. I also envision it kind of sitting in the ground a little bit and maybe popping up over over the top with a little bit of decoration. Uh, what's going to happen, though, is all the sugar cane is going to flow into the center of this area or the center of the area in which the farm sits and come out here to its own little storage area. So that way I can just come over here, grab my sugar cane. Oh, I got sugar. Oh, yay. And then come over come over to this area and uh, do some paper trades and, and whatnot. I'll probably, I mean, this stuff needs cleaned up, but um, to probably have a... Uh, crafting bench or two over here by the uh, by the collection area so that way I can make my paper go over there get my emeralds and all will be well all right so uh we've got the basic outline of our farm in and I wanted to I wanted to put like this little skeleton up just to kind of see where everything would go make sure everything would fit um, I did find out that uh, this side goes a little close to the edge, which means I'll have to kind of change the redstone up on the the the, uh, the ends here for these end uh, pistons that'll be here to harvest, but that shouldn't be a problem. It actually should make it a little bit easier to route all the redstone here to the back because this in here in the back is where uh, my daylight sensor will go to trigger all of the harvesting. Uh, so while it, on the surface, it looks like, oh, you didn't plan... Uh, I actually, uh, as a happy little accident, I think it works out much better for us in the long run. So really, all we need to do at this point is get the farm up. Um, that also includes putting in uh, some ice in these in these channels. And then also down in these channels, because this is where all of the sugar cane will get funneled. And it'll go down here, and there's a, a channel underneath there that'll take it all this direction. And I've even cut it out to where I know where it's all going to come up. And I've marked it with this slime block here. Uh, but uh, everything will come up through this tube and into our storage area, which will be sitting uh, somewhere around in here. Uh, let's just make it easy on ourselves and not have to transport the uh, sugarcane farther than we need to. Um, I think this is close enough. 
So now it's time to go collect some ice uh, from the ice tray and uh, see if we can't get a layer of this done. So maybe this is an issue. <laughs> um, I came up here to uh, harvest some of this ice and uh, there is like a whole village up here. Um, I know that uh, my villager breeder may be a little broken at this point um, with some recent updates. And uh, it looks like all the villagers that get, uh, I guess, born are coming up here to live. So, uh, hi guys. How you doing? So with all the sugar cane in my hot bar, you probably think that I've just put this here for effect, but no. In fact, this is the first piece of sugar cane that we have harvested from our sugar cane farm. And if you take a look, our whole first layer is in place. Now, I, it, the redstone is pretty spread out um, just because of how it needed to run to get uh, the signal around on this first layer. Uh, the second and third layer, it's a lot more compact as far as redstone goes, but we're really in the home stretch at this point. It just, everything just stacks on top of each other now. Uh, but I ran out of packed ice and I don't have enough normal ice to make enough packed ice. So I have to go back up to the ice tray, harvest a bunch of ice. Uh, so that way I can put in all of my water streams. I mean, I guess I don't need it, but you know, if we're going to do this, let's do it right. Right. But while I do that, I want to just give you a glimpse of something I've been working on behind the scenes. Eh, it's not going to be much, but it's going to be a lot more exciting than just watching me harvest ice. So I think we all remember the project behind me, our super smelter, and we just did this a couple episodes ago. Uh, but right after I finished it, which uh, at this point has been, it's really actually been a few months since I finished this. Uh, but uh, I was thinking about it as I started to get back into the uh, the recording schedule, and I was like, how are we going to fuel this thing? I mean, this is a pretty big furnace array for one person, and it's not like we're mining every day for coal. So, if I could press the button the right amount of time. So, I, I got to thinking, what's what could we use? Well, we could use blaze rods, and I have plans for a blaze farm. Uh, we could use bamboo, though I have no bamboo. Or we can use kelp. I do have kelp, and I do not have a kelp farm. So what I've been doing is, little by little, coming in behind here and digging out this entire area. Uh, so now I've, I've put uh, half slabs on the floor so that way nothing spawns in here so I didn't have to light it up um, tremendously well. But what I'm planning to do is put a kelp farm in here, a massive kelp farm, one way, way bigger than I will ever need, only for the purpose of creating fuel for my smelter. That's the only purpose this is. Now, it does mean that we have to do a little manual labor in crafting up the kelp blocks once they've come in from the farm into the smelter, and we will have to fuel our smelter with other things until we have a stockpile. But once we can have that, block up the kelp, throw it in the fuel, and that will be a tremendous amount of fuel for us. And we can smell anything we want without worrying about, oh, am I going to be able to actually smelt it? I mean, look at my furnaces right now. There's iron in there because I didn't have any fuel. So definitely an issue for us. But here in the next few I would say here in the next few episodes, we will likely get started on that kelp farm and start fueling this furnace so we can get more things like smooth stone and nether brick, <laughs> because that's really, really what I what I need right now. But yeah, thought I'd uh, give you a peek of that while I uh, dug up ice. Fun, right? Well, as you can see, we're almost there. We have just a little bit left to do on this second level before it's actually done. And uh, the issue now is that I've run out of green stained glass, which is what I'm using along the front here. Um, I needed to make some more green dye so I can get some more green stained glass in order to finish it off. But uh, this is actually coming together very, very quickly. And we have to think about 
how much sugar cane we've actually had in this farm at this point. And I just want to make sure that I don't have any sugar cane on me. Uh, but of course, some of it is already being harvested. And let's see how much we've got. Nine whole pieces of sugar cane. Nine. Nine whole pieces. That's it. That's all right. <laughs> it really hasn't been running that long. So I was just kind of looking around at my farms and uh, I noticed that there was like a chicken popping his head out of this corner here. So this was like this, right? And there was a chicken here. Well, I opened this up to where the redstone is in my chicken farm and look at all the chickens that are in the redstone part of the chicken farm. Why are all the chickens in there? What? What has caused this? <laughs> what in the actual world caused this to happen? I'm just trying to feed the cows and here are all these chickens. Here are all these chickens. All right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close this back up and uh, I guess I'm going to have to kill off these chickens. Because, uh, yeah... That's a lot of chickens just running around. All right, so we're gonna have to live with a few chickens running around. Uh, but I did get more of the farm up and it looks like we're only one level away from having three levels on this farm. And I just wanted to take a quick moment to see how well this is doing. Okay, so that's what I just picked up, and that's probably one, maybe two harvests. I don't, probably not two harvests, because whatever would have came, come up uh, would have likely despawned by now. So there's still a little bit more work to be done to finish this off. We do need to finish that third layer. Um, I ran out of lime green concrete, so I, so I thought maybe I could get away with doing green on the top. Uh, and it turns out I ran out of green concrete to finish off the uh, places for the redstone and stuff. So I'm probably just going to tear that out and end up putting lime green concrete in anyway, since I have to make the concrete to finish it up, regardless of what color it is. Uh, but we're going to save that for in between this and the next episode because I am out of time. Um, didn't want to go too long. Didn't want to waste too much time on a sugarcane farm, uh, but it was much needed uh, in our quest to be one step closer to fighting the Ender Dragon and uh, having ourselves access to a whole new world of things and uh, Elytra. <laughs> That's really it. I want Elytra. I want it bad. Um, but we still have a few other things I want to do first. But hope that you've enjoyed this derptastic episode full of chickens and sugar cane. Um, <laughs> I certainly have enjoyed myself. It feels good to be recording again. It really, really does feel good. But it's getting dark. I've got to wrap this up before all the monsters come out. If you've liked this video, please make sure you hit that like button and also consider subscribing. Uh, you'll know when a new uh, Minecraft is coming out and other videos that I might decide to just all of a sudden do Let's Plays and games and all kinds of good stuff because that's how I roll. I just do stuff and don't tell anybody. And expect everyone to watch. <laughs> it's a great marketing plan. But on that, I'm Joshy Bear. The sun's almost down. I'm out of here. I'll see you later.